this is Ralph, and in this video I want to get into what it takes to make a web page. Specifically, we're going to go over some skills of web development over these series of videos, and that includes HTML and CSS, and ultimately some JavaScript as well. Now, to start off and kind of keep it simple here, let me minimize this browser, and let me just focus your attention on Notepad. This is a basic free text editor that comes with your Windows computer. Um, Apple computers have a plain text editor also. And there's lots of free ones out there, but I want to show you how easy it is to get started. Notepad is on my computer already, and if you know the language of HTML, then you can create a web page. And it's okay if you don't right now, because it's not that tough to learn. So just kind of take note of what I'm uh, typing at the moment here. There we go. This is a basic web page, and it's got a few key tags on it, and we'll go over these in more detail very, very soon. But I wanted to show you how easy it was to get started. And here in the body of the page, I'll go ahead and type another set of tags. Right, let's, let me use a different word. There we go. So I've got this typed up in the notepad. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'll do a file save as. I'll save this over to my desktop. I'm going to save this as mypage.html. And you can see that it's showing up right there on my desktop. And if I go back to my browser to a new tab, I will open this up to my desktop. There it is. And there's my first web page. And all of that was created by typing in this code. So when you're when you're developing web pages, you tend to use uh, multiple programs. And at the very least, you're going to use a program in order to write or create your web pages. And then you'll use a web browser to view and display your resulting web page. And you often have to go back and forth. Now, some web developers might use a program that kind of combines these two aspects a little bit more seamlessly. And I'm talking about uh, editors like, uh, let's say, Dreamweaver or something, where you can kind of type and work in the page and then it'll also give you a preview in that very same program. So let's see what it's what's involved in making a change. So let's try this. I'll go to the body of my page and I'm going to type what's called an inline style. That's a code for dark blue or medium dark blue. Now what I'm going to do here is I've just made a change to my code. I'm pressing Control S to save. Let's do that again. And I head over to my browser and I'm just going to refresh. And now the background is dark blue. So this is web development. It's kind of having an idea of what you want your web page to look like and then knowing what to type in order to get that look. Now let's look at a couple more professional web pages here. So this is Apple's uh, website, apple.com. In fact, let me go to their home. There we go, apple.com. And I'm going to right click and view the page source. And when you view the page source of a web page, you're going to see the HTML they used to create that. So the HTML I just typed, very, very simple. Apple's a little bit more complex. They have a lot more stuff going on. Let me zoom in a bit. So over at Apple, you'll notice that they have some of the same things that I typed. For instance, I did type an HTML tag and then a head tag. And sure enough, over at Apple, they also have an HTML tag and a head tag. Now they have some more things inside of those tags. And then in between the opening and uh, closing head tags, they have a lot more stuff in there. And we're going to work on some of that. Here's the title for Apple's website, just like my page also had a title. So bigger, more complex web pages simply have more HTML involved in their creation. But all web pages have three basic things. You know, they have text, images, and hyperlinks. And bigger sites have more of those three things. Now, while you're learning HTML and ultimately CSS and JavaScript, you're going to understand what all of these tags mean. You're going to become very familiar with them because you'll use them over and over again while you're making your web pages. You'll learn pretty quickly that this LI is a list item. 
and it's used to create a list of items very often in a navigation menu so by looking at this we see that there is a a reference to Apple there's a reference to Mac there's a reference to iPod and iPhone this is very telltale to how a website might make a navigation menu Apple Mac iPod iPhone and if we go back to Apple's website zoom out a bit there it is it's Apple Mac iPod iPhone so this part of their web page was created with that particular section here we go of HTML code there's their store so it's Apple store Mac iPod iPhone so it doesn't take that tough it's it's not that tough to learn how to create this it's writing some code styling it the way you want it to look and then you've got a web page so let's go ahead and get started